So I'm working with Asa here installing some ZAMP 90 watt solar panels on an Airstream and I see you have them all laid out and you have the mounting feet attached, the AM solar mounting feet. What's your methodology? What are you doing here? What are some pro tips for getting this all set up? I noticed that this is closer to one end than that is. What's going on here? Yeah, so you're going to notice that these are slightly offset. That's because I want to keep them away from the edge. Uh, we have a little so bit the the ones that are in a little bit more yeah, on, the outer, be on edge. the outer edge, exactly. Because okay. we have a little bit of a busy roof on this airstream, what I want to do is keep it away from possible shading, like uh, a vent or the air conditioner. So these are going to be brought out a little bit, bringing the whole panel closer to the outside. I wouldn't go a whole lot further than this, just because we do have awnings to think about as well. Something else you're going to see is the way I believe. If you have more than one panel and you plan on removing the panel to uh, Dicor or Sikaflex the feet, depending on whatever roof you're going to do, I prefer to draw out the design of how the panels are going to lay, circle which one this is on each panel. So you'll, no you'll notice it's different on each individual one. Got it. That way I can reference that later and the feet are going to match up exactly. So Asa, you're prepping the roof for the ZAMP solar panels. Are we going to use the ZAMP combiner box on this job? On this one specifically we are. So we're going okay. to use these uh, SA leads on here. <clears throat> so we're going to keep all the panels basically to the rear just because it's going to be the shortest run possible. Uh, you'll notice some rooms need a little bit more cleaning, cleaning than others like this one does. So I've already prepped the areas where I know the feet are going to go uh -huh. with a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to go over it one more time just giving a little dab there and very lightly with a scrub brush getting rid of any surface residue no no pressure at all but i'm going to wipe it away and that's so our vhb tape mounts stick perfectly to the roof they're not sticking to dust exactly and uh you can safely drive down the road with panels just held by tape and you don't um, want to go too hard on these because it will strip the paint Okay, and as for the combiner box, the reason we're using the factory combiner box is because this is only going to be like a 300 watt system, is that correct? Exactly. And the fact, okay, and the factory wires can handle that. Yeah. Okay, so you have the panel on the roof. It's not stuck to the roof. Yep, the, the, thing is the tabs are still on the back of the sticky feet there, so it can slide around freely. Um, I guess you're you're trying to just make sure everything's straight. What are some pro tips for making sure you've got your panels lined up straight? So you're gonna you're gonna notice it more if you have more than one panel on the side. So with one, you know, you still want to make it as straight as possible, but you get a little bit more kind of leeway with that. Either way, I'm gonna leave that tape as you mentioned on just so I can get it exactly where I want it to set here. And what I would typically do first, again noticing that this is slightly offset, I'm gonna put pressure on the back end where I want it to stay and then lift up here, peel the tape. The moment of truth. Don't do a crooked. Uh, I can see I already slid back a little bit so I'm yeah. just going to notice where that went, bring it up a little bit. I've done this once, it made me extremely nervous. Bring it back down, put some pressure on it. And then this side is going to be much easier, right? All right, so you mount the panels on the white part of the Airstream roof. Do you ever extend any out to that silver part? I would never suggest putting the feet on the silver part. If you have the feet on the sides with some of the uh, the mounting hardware that we do use, you can extend past it as long as the feet are within range, just they're going to support the panel enough. You can kind of uh, cheat across it a little bit, but I would never suggest using the feet on this. Okay, so now you have all four mount feet stuck to the roof, holding the panel to the roof, and you're using your wrench to take the panel off of the mount feet. Yep and that will make it easier for you to apply the um, Cicaflex sealant around the bases of the mount. So any of the wiring going to the C-Box, whether it's the 
ZAMP one specifically, or if we're going to be using our proprietary AM Solar one, I would always prefer to do that routing from the uh, panels themselves after I have taken the uh, the panel off and I've sealed the feet and they're dry. If you're trying to do that while you have Cicaflex that's wet, it's going to get messy. You're going to get some on your clothes. It's not going to be as fun of a time. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna do your wire routes now, and then you're gonna do the Sika flex. You can do it either way. I just would really prefer to do it after the Sika is already oh. dry. So for me, I'd like to do the feet first. Feet if first. If there's any uh, external things that I also need to seal, then I would do that as well. Then do my route after that's dry. Got it. The mount feet are stuck to the roof with 3M VHB tape. And now Asa is going to seal them with Sika flex. So Sika flex, is a sealant and an adhesive and the whole purpose of this is to protect the VHB tape from the elements uh, so that it can last for years and years and last time I did Cicaflex I got it all over my shoes all over my clothes I'm like I should sit at a desk and not do this anymore leave it to the pros so Asa what are your tips for doing this nicely Create a nice bead around the outside. You can have a whole glove, or like I like to do, you can cut off a finger Customize at a time. Customize your glove. That way you get a little more carry out of it. Very so nice. You really only need one finger at a time. Okay. Get all of that smoothed out. Make sure there's no bubbles, no metal showing. It's not all how the, I did it, but I like it. All of the uh, VHB tape is gonna be safe, as you mentioned. And so you do that on all four feet. How yep. long do you let that dry before you start playing in that area again? Oh, it's gonna depend on the weather in your area. Uh, if it's a little bit hotter, it may take a little bit longer to get tacked. So it's uh, about 80 degrees in the shop right now. I think it's more than 80, but yeah. It's gonna be a little <laughs> bit, uh, I would probably give this overnight before I expected it to be fully firm, but realistically, it's It's got a skin on it here pretty soon. Yeah, I would say by tonight around six, or like five-ish hours from now, it should have a good skin on it and wouldn't be too tacky. Okay, so after the Sika Flex is cured, you put the panels back on, you bolt the mount sets together, and you route your wire harnesses to the combiner box, making sure you don't have the polarity crossed, yeah. and uh, then you're done with the roof. Easy.